Suleiman Boop and other scientists from the US and Europe played a big role in isolating HIV-2. The virus mainly affects the population of West Africa. This new virus was discovered after Suleiman brought blood samples from Senegalese prostitutes to the United States. Suleiman and other scientists and researchers then conducted studies for 10 years leading to more knowledge about the specifics of the virus. HIV-2 was less virulent virus, uh, spread less, is less transmissible sexually, but also less transmissible. But more importantly is really, it has a stronger immunity protect. As you all know, there is no vaccine yet on HIV in general, but the model of HIV-2 is still very important, really to be able to discover why HIV, people infected with HIV have a better uh, immunity protection. With nearly 40 years of experience in various areas of public health, Professor Mboup has set up an institute for research on health, epidemiological surveillance and training. He aims to make this new institute a leading facility for health research and training in Africa. You go to the US, you go to Europe, you go elsewhere, you find very good researchers. But what they are lacking is really having institutions. And that's what we are trying to bring through ERSF. Really, it will be an opportunity, a big platform for researchers, for all stakeholders. We were also able to establish a very well uh, uh, equipped lab known all over the world and really known in many other fields, in infectious disease in general, on HIV, on TB, uh, on malaria, on hepatitis and, and, and many others, but also on different epidemic, like uh, emerging epidemic on Ebola and all others. The construction of the institute is estimated at more than $18 million. The building will end in April and will welcome more than 400 researchers, making it one of the largest centers in Senegal. It will specialize in bacteriology, virology, molecular biology, and immunology. HIV-2 have been one demonstration that you can have very, very internationally recognized uh, research discovery that can be used worldwide. And that's my main ambition to show that even in Africa, we were able to conduct very high uh, uh, internationally recognized research but that can be used worldwide for Africa, but for the rest of the world. According to UNAIDS, there were 46,000 people living with HIV in Senegal in 2015. The rate of infection of this virus has decreased significantly in the country thanks to a policy of prevention launched shortly after the discovery by Professor Mboup. Mahemutua CGTN.